I am going to be touching you. You realize no, that? Yeah. <laughs> no, because I, I have to talk to you about this because I'm like, wait, what, how are you brushing my eyebrows? Because normally I brush them down. <laughs> I'm so excited to have my friend, celebrity makeup artist, Tanya Reiner with me today. I recently did my everyday makeup tutorial um, and shared it on IGTV. And while I was doing that, I realized just how badly I need help with makeup. I've been using the same makeup since high school and college. I have no idea how to apply it. I am in need of Tanya, an intervention with Tanya Reiner today. So I'm so excited that you're here. I'm happy to, to be here. Teach me. Here we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is look at you and I see your beautiful bone structure, your eye color is extraordinary, your brow is a strong feature, so we're gonna play that up a little bit. Really, the brow is? Yes, yes, you have a beautiful angled brow. We're gonna even out your skin tone. You have your moisture and skin protection on, sun protection, that's super important. We're gonna use a little eye cream. Oh, so you put a moisturizer on your eye before you do makeup? Absolutely, yes. So you're gonna somewhat blend this with your concealer. I'm gonna show you how. So this is Neocutis. Some eye creams don't work with concealers, unfortunately. If there is a de-puffing agent in the eye cream, it can make your concealer pill. And you'll notice when you're trying to blend things that you, you've got this product on your face. So we're gonna blend some eye cream in. And because you wanna look fresh and healthy, like I'm sure most people do, we're gonna go a little bit backward. We're gonna get your complexion completely ready. You're gonna look at it, see how you feel, and then based on that, you decide what kind of eye and lip you're doing for that day. Oh. I like to start at the center of the face. This is your Bobbi Brown. Okay, so when you do this, are you just doing the red spots or how do yes. you know where to start with that? Well, I'm looking at you and your skin looks very even and pretty. Most people have some broken capillaries, a little bit of discoloration around the nose, sometimes in the center of the face, hyperpigmentation on the chin. You just see what you need that day. Our goal is just to have an even skin tone without it looking like you have makeup on, right? We want it to be imperceptible. Now, the area under your eyes is still moisturized from the eye cream. There's still a little, it hasn't completely absorbed yet. So that's when I'm gonna go in with concealer. And Wait. this- <laughs> Weren't we, sorry, weren't that. we just using concealer? This is a stick foundation. Now, okay. now we have concealer. Okay. Here's the key to concealer. It has to be stippled on. If you rub it, you're rubbing, look at the camera for me. You're rubbing all of it out to this outer edge, which gets stuck in crow's feet and all that. And oh. you haven't concealed any of the darkness that you want to conceal right there. So we're just getting the basis going okay. of brightening everything. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna use an eyeshadow primer. This one is by Urban Decay. Close. So this just ensures that everything will stick where you want it. You put it there, it's gonna stay there. So now we're gonna go to your complexion products, your blush and your bronzer. We'll do bronzer first. This is just kind of a complexion enhancer. I'm gonna put it on in a really crude line just for effect so you can see. Okay, so do you prefer bronzer that you put on with your fingers versus a brush because I will tell you, thinking about myself putting a bronzer on with my finger mm -hmm. intimidates me. Because everything has the same texture on your face right now, everything's a cream product. Yes. You can move all this around. There's nothing scary. Okay. If you brought in a powder bronzer right now with all this creaminess, that's where the commitment comes in because okay. you're gonna get, you. it's possible to get a blob or yes. a streak that's stuck. Okay. For the look we're doing today, cream is going to look more like it's coming from within mm -hmm. and it's going to look more natural. natural. And if you like a more polished look, then powders are your best bet. Got but it. we're today, Carly, we're you're doing dewy. Natural. You're dewy and you just skip. Well, over and, and okay, so let's talk about dewy because I really like a dewy look. 
Um, like, cause it feels more. Like you didn't try so hard. Like I didn't try so hard and more natural, obviously. Right, right. Um, but for so long growing up, like you did not want to look dewy. You used rice paper to make sure that, you know, you didn't have right. a shiny whatever. And right. so. So this is, we're going to strike a balance and everybody is going to find a different level of comfort there. I love these rice papers. These are Tatcha. They're my favorite. Um, but you only use them in your T-zone. This, we're arriving at this dewy place here and if we powder that we're going to take it all away everything we've done is it's a moot point okay so um let me tell you something about the blush so you start here mm -hmm. the majority of the color comes out right on the apple of your cheek when smile for me so right there mm -hmm. so you just start to stipple that in mm -hmm. and then when it's almost completely diffused you start taking it up a tiny bit to marry the really? under eye area okay. so that you don't have a line of demarcation between here and here. It's all one. Well, I've been doing that wrong for mm -hmm. it's a 15 new day. years. It's a new day, Carly. <laughs> so this is uh, Boy Brow by Glossier. And I'm just going to use tiny little feather-like strokes. And this is your God-given arch right here, which is the key to everything. So, accentuating the arch. So I'm making the line up top, and then I'm blending all of your natural hair that's there up into the line. Does that make sense? Got it. And then I like to let it sit for a minute, and then I brush through with an eyebrow brush. And everybody has a different idea of what they want their brows to look like. I I love this all fluffy right here. Mm -hmm. And I'll finish somebody's makeup and the first thing they will do is lay that all down. Oh so it just yeah. depends on what okay. on what you're comfortable with. This is an easy everyday lip. So smear that all over your mouth. Don't be precious about it. Right, this is it's epic. It's Bert's, Bert's bees. bees. Rose. Okay, and I chose the rose for you because you are used to that darker lip yeah, in your everyday I'm, makeup. Yes, you I like lips. Red, red, yeah. Right. Okay, so smear that in, massage it in. So what that does is it's pushing the color to the outermost edge of your lip. Mm -hmm. So that's your guide for this. This is like a jumbo crayon. You're gonna okay. line. You want me to do one no. side, or you? Go I mean, <laughs> no, no. I, I've, I've got, got this. I got it. Go. <laughs> Show us what you've got. Well, you had to tell me you got a new Okay, okay. No, you're doing it right. You're taking it to the lowest, the outermost edge, which is what I wanted you to do. Okay, I just have to come in. I'm going to make it even fatter. So I love this combo because it looks like a bitten lip. Mm -hmm. It's just your lips, but better. Okay, so this is a 10 second eyeshadow from Kosas. And yes, you could take this straight to your lid, but again, I get nervous about control. I don't want to have to fix any errors. So I'm going to pat this just on the lid, all over the lid. This is actually, I think I can say, universally flattering. Um, Color on most people? On, on everybody. I this is your new yes. mascara that you love. Yes. Okay, with the primer first. Look down. Um, when we first met, uh, you had told me that because we were talking about what we individually do and kind of the similarities, and you said like when you go even with celebrity make ce celebrities, they'll tell you something that they don't like about themselves yes. or something. Yes. And it's so funny because immediately, if I was to get my makeup done by you, I would be like, well, one eye is bigger than the other, yes. so can you fix that? Yes. So everyone says something negative about themselves first, and it has never one time been the thing that I noticed about them. Never once. That's crazy. It's crazy. So all of these things we have in our heads um, are just... What, they're, just they're, they're just our own... Yes, yes. Yeah. Other people don't see that. I think we need to blend the other side more yeah, where I can't right. see. Okay. So this brush, has a mixture of fibers. It has synthetic fiber mixed with natural bristles. So this is great to blend cream products. So I use it to just diffuse and blend at the end. 
and I'm using such a light touch because I don't want to scoot everything around. I just mm -hmm. want to diffuse the top. Mm -hmm. Well, I kind of want, I want to kind of, okay. You want to take it up a notch now? Yeah, I kind of do. Okay. But um, I think it's just because I'm so used to wearing eyeliner. All right, let's do it. The liner isn't going to be a look, a, a, a line that alters the shape of your eye. It's just going to be to make your lash line appear fuller. Okay. So you do that by making sure your pencil is super sharp, first of all. I'll just do it on this eye first. And you take little tiny dashes right at the base of your lash line. These little tiny dashes right at your lash line all connect together to form a straight line. So it's thicker and more intense at the outer third of your eye and then it blends down to almost nothing as we work toward the inner corner. Okay, take a look, see how you feel about that. Mm. That feels more like what I like do you. every day, yes. Okay, now I'm gonna add a tiniest bit underneath. Okay. Little tiny dashes. I'm gonna blend it with a little bit of this so that it it goes with the top part. It's not hanging out all by itself underneath. So I have somewhere here, aha, a statement lip for you. Ooh, what color is this? This is called Thrillist. Thrillist. This is Kosas. Okay. Um, so we already have the neutral liner on, which is important because that's the base that we've got. So this is a little bit more of a modern take on it because the edges are diffused. So I'm just gonna pop a tiny bit on in the center and then we're going to pat the edges with our finger. So it just gives you a little bit of color without being a stain. <laughs> now she feels good. <laughs> Do you? Is it? Yes, that? it's it. Okay. okay. No, I felt I felt good all yeah. the whole time. Naturally. <laughs> the thing is, is that when you wear, when you wear it a certain way for so many yes. years, that yes. you're like it becomes your identity right. and your your security blanket. Yes, is and, and that is so fascinating to me. I, I thought I had no. Um, like commitment to my makeup, like it, like it was either neither here nor there. But clearly I have, yes. since I've been doing it this way for so long, that it feels very, um, I don't know, uh, vulnerable to mix it up. It does, everybody has a commitment to the look that they've, they've had since the first time you had a makeover and yes. they told you these are the rules yes. and this is the right way and this is right. the wrong way. But the key, I think with models and celebrities is that the beauty of it is that they see themselves differently out of necessity because it's their job every day. So they are not committed to a look yes. and they know it's just makeup. Yes. It's okay. not your identity. Yes. It's just makeup. Okay, well thank you so much for coming and helping me and making thank me you. feel more confident and like this is so overwhelming to me. So I, I am so, so grateful. I know we're going to uh, we're going to revisit all of this as you try to do it on your own. Okay, I'm right here for okay. you, Carly. Oh no, I'm right here. You you're gonna wish you didn't say that. No, I won't. No, I won't. I